you know, after she started getting sick, we were like in and out of the vet a lot. And they said they found her outside. So I don't know if somebody dumped her or if she ran away. I was looking for a coffee table you know, browsing Craigslist. And I had a friend tell me, oh, you should always check the free section because sometimes people give away really nice things. Didn't see a coffee table, but saw the post that said free money. I was drawn in by the post, like just out of curiosity. You see a, a post that says free bunny. And I feel like just out of curiosity, I was like, well, what's this all about? They had found Peanut a few months ago, I guess just like wandering around outside. And she said she just didn't have time for a bunny and wanted to, to give her away to a good home or a home that she thought would be, you know, fitting. So two days later, I picked her up and took her home. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did have a bunny before Peanut, but it was probably like a decade ago. The bunny I had before Peanut was like an absolute angel, never chewed on anything. But naturally, like bunnies are chewers. So I brought her home and I didn't mean for her to be free roam right away, but she managed to escape the kitchen where I was trying to keep her. And she became a free roam bunny pretty quickly. And I would start to notice like little chew marks on things. And she loved to rip up the carpet, so it was always a battle, like, trying to figure out how to deter her from doing these normal bunny things. We have my partner, who is like Peanut's other parent, <laughs> um, and we have a foster bunny that we um, foster through one of our local rescues. You know, after she started getting sick, we were like in and out of the vet a lot, and. I think that's when she kind of bonded with me because I was pretty much the only one taking care of her at the time. Maybe five or six months after I got her, after she'd been like a completely normal, happy bunny, she started losing her balance a lot and she would try to do normal things and she would fall and start rolling like she couldn't get up. And it really scared her, it really scared me, and she would spend a lot of time hiding under the couch because she was afraid to move. And we never got a firm diagnosis, it's likely a parasite that affected her, her brain, because they said there wasn't a cure for it. We didn't really like pursue it any further. What they suspected was raccoon roundworm, which normally in the wild will kill a bunny. I don't know, they, they told me, prepare yourself for a special needs bunny. Like, she's probably just gonna be this way her whole life. We kept her in the kitchen. We managed to keep her in there and just like patted it down so that anytime she fell, she wouldn't hurt herself. You know, she stayed there for a couple months. And then when I realized, I was like, okay, she didn't pass away. I think like she's getting through this. So then I started, you know, I would take her to school with me and put her under my desk and she would stay there and I started letting her out and letting her onto the sofa and things like that and she just, she rebounded really quickly. She's not completely like cured, she still falls, she has really bad balance, but like her energy and her confidence came back and I think that was such a nice thing to see. I don't wish that she had gotten sick, but because she did, it, I think, created a, a stronger bond. She's comfortable with me, and she looks at me as her person. Her original personality, I think, was always very confident, and she lost that when she first got sick. But once she started, like, normalizing everything, her full personality is, like, completely back. I always try to promote rescuing instead of buying. I mean, Peanut's a rescue and all my animals have been rescued, so that's just, I guess, something I always try to promote.